everybody, welcome back to Sakura Spirit. Where we left off, we talked to Shuri at the shrine. We found out Machiko, <laughs> why Machiko is so uh, embarrassed to be around her. And we were about to go to the village to try and patch things up with the villagers with Machiko and Maiko. Two, gar two guards who had just returned from the patrolling the area found their village in uproar. His save first. Because. Okay. Chaos reigned supreme as a villager fle villagers fled from their home screaming about some monster that appeared at the marketplace. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do voices, aren't I? Voices of the two girls that I need to remember. Armed with their weapons, the two rushed off to deal with the threat. Another attack so soon! First, those crafty fox crooks sneak in twice. Now this? Kage, report! What is it this time? Several shoppa report seeing the, the same girl enter their shop, take food, and eat it without paying. Afterwards, she seemed to turn see-through and um, melt away. She, she was reported nearby, but I... One? How can one girl cause this much havoc? Those useless guardsmen. Kage, come with me! We'll deal with this one girl ourselves. That, uh, I don't know if I can. What do you mean? Oh, a spirit, right. Narumi needs you to ensure that w no one gets near. I'm, I'm trusting you with this. Much to the relief of Narumi, the katana willing girl approached the nearby shop, which would, had a crowd of people gathering around it. Devious monster, show yourself! It's instant. Surrender yourself, and I might let you go free. However, the moment she tried to enter the building, a large pink mass surged outwards, knocking her back onto the ground. Mayo! In the shadow of the nearby building, a figure could be seen rustling about it. Upon closer inspection, it turned out to be a girl, seemingly occupied downing several bottles of sake before she dropped them and turned to look at the person who had interrupted her. She finally moved into the light. I'm gonna have to do an English accent for her, aren't I? Ew, my English accent sucks. It became clear that she wasn't a villager, but a girl covered in slime from head to toe. I spilled that tasty drink because you surprised me. Now I'm a sad. I'm a sad. I'm a sad. But damn it! What, what the? Man. You're not welcome, your spirit. You have caused chaos, and that tasty drink, as you said, was not yours. You are a thief and a nuisance. Leave immediately. I need to remember how I did that. I'm not a thief. What's a nuisance? I'm just trying to act like a smart party pants because I don't know those fancy words. Typical. It means you are a bother. You do not belong here. Liar! Forced my home. And this is place is part of the forest. For I am not a thief. Everything in the forest belongs to me and my sisters, including you. What do you mean? Great, I'm actually mixing up the voices again. Oh, so difficult to make up different voices. I was going to do an English accent for her, but I can't. Hmm. I wish there was a way to pause the recording so I can test this out, but... What do you mean? Don't try anything funny, spirit. I have fought against your kind before, and I still stand strong here today. Kage, evacuate the people! Seems like a human girl wants to play. There we go, I'll do something like that. Not believe my ability to defend the village. Ha! Little we'll lunge for her katana drawn, slashing the spirit's body. However, the part that was sliced through sealed up almost as quickly, rendering the attack completely ineffective. Ha! <laughs> that tickles. With the sword stuck inside the slime girl's body, the spirit quickly lashed forward, spraying several jets of slime substance. <laughs> Dirty minds! Woo! At the spirit, the female guard. We soon discovered that her clothes began to melt away. Why? Let's see how confident you are without that sword and clothes. Having the last part with childish playfulness, the slime girl pushed the swords down onto the grass, and the slime that had been splattered on her started to harden, causing her to stick to the ground. Sometimes I hate myself for playing this game. What the? 
Let me go! Cheater! You devious fiend! <laughs> You're the one who tried to use a sword against me. Don't you know that girls like me can easily avoid such things? Besides, this way I can continue eating in peace. Now be a good girl and stay here while I grab some more yummies. <laughs> Never! I will not rest until you have been vanquished. <laughs> Damn you! It's useless. Once my slime hardens, a puny human like you won't be here to break out of it, especially one who is powerless without a sharp stick. I assure you I'm more than just a monkey with a sharp stick. You will never break my stamina. You will not make me silent. Ah! You struggle, clenching your fist in ever to try and free yourself. The slime cracked up here and there, but nothing indicated that I was really ready to yelp. Yield. I almost said yelp. Yes, yes, you're a stuck monkey, but you're kind of loud. It's giving me a headache. Slime girl playfully trapped tapped her forehead as Mayo continued her desperate attempts to break free. Just answer me this! Why do you spirits target us? You could go anywhere. You could spend your days hidden deep within the forest. And yet you constantly attack us, constantly throw our lives around like you were like they were nothing. But the forest is boring, and there isn't anyone around to play with with aside from my own sisters. You humans are such a curious bunch, but it's no fun when and you all raise your swords, torches, and pitchforks whenever we visit. You know what else isn't fun? Having to rebuild our homes every time you visit. We do not want our lives ruined every time you're feeling bored and wish to play. We are not toys, you monster. We are humans, proud and wise, strong beings with souls and minds. We will not stand by idly as you terrorize our people. I'm not too sure about pride and strength. You do realize that. If it wasn't for my slime, you'd be giving just show they would soon forget, don't you? That's not... You're the one who... My clothes are... That's not important right now. If it wasn't for your goo, the, this goo, I would still have my clothes on. Fiend! Monster! Right, a little... Thing! Oh, so you want me to remove my slime? I guess you're kind of annoying with your nagging at home. Maybe I need to punish you a bit. Slime girl smiled mischievously. The slime girl smiled mischievously as Mayo... Mayo as the slime that covered the girl started to compress, almost painfully so. Ah! This is nothing compared to what this village has had to endure. <laughs> I only come by to get some yummies. You're the one who decided to make a show of it. You took from many shops without paying for it. Ah. Actually, maybe I should wrap you up in a cocoon and drag you back to my home. I won't be have to visit a village to play with someone. If that is what it takes, I would do anything to protect this village and the people in it. If you promise me that you will not return to the village, then you aren't exactly in any position to make demands. Stop! You can't go in there! I do not know- oh, th is this me? There they are! Michael-chan, go! Use your magic! Right! The sound of running footsteps came from the crowd. The Suddenly, the slime girl felt her body growing warmer. Small flame sparks, flame sparks seemingly floating around her body, causing her body to slowly melt. At the same time, from the midst of the crowd, three figures appeared to keep the slime girl from her prey. Two fox spirits, one muttering incantation, the sorts of which the other was holding a eh, mutation of sorts, while the other was holding some sort of ritualistic staff. Trailing behind them as the Naginata wielding guard, accompanied by a young man. Please, Norumi-san, we're trying to help. I don't want to have to stop you. I think you can say Mayo then. Okay, just... Just know that if any fun business goes down, I will chop your head clean off. Right, I hope the girls know what they're doing. Sakura! What are you doing here? You fox! The slime girl was being distracted by the fox spirits. I ran over to Mayo's side, using all my strength to pull out the slime that covered it. All I seemed to manage was a slight tear, freeing the girl was clearly going to take a while. You're here to help, so use your energy for something useful like getting rid of the damn slime. Uh, Machiko, have you come to play as well? Please, I'll let your sister just stop her spell. It feels rather tingly. Maiko, keep up the good work. No, Sakura, I have not come to play. You are a fool, a bubble brain moron. Why are you harassing the villagers? If you wanted the food, you know you could have come to my mansion. Mini Machiko, you can't tell me what to do. Not to mention the food from the village is tastier than the fruit on your at your place. 
said, I just wanted to play with them a bit. And then they started screaming, and this monkey girl with her sharp stick tried to scare me away. I I will not stand for these insults. Just you wait until I am free. Tony Sama, the spell is almost done. If I keep going on, it might just a little more. A little one. Sakura, I do not wish for this to end this way. You know that it that of you know what will happen if my ghost spell is allowed to continue. You might get stuck in your midget <laughs> midget form for a long. Why am I laughing at that? It's so wrong to laugh at that. Why? Ugh, oh, I hate myself sometimes. For a long time. And I'm certain you do not want that. Leave, the vi leave this village, please. Uh, you're not going to melt me. That's unfair. My sisters won't be happy to hear Machiko and Maiko side with the silly humans. When all I was doing was having some fun, I'll be back. With those words, the slime girl melted into a pool of water and soon disappeared from sight. Yeah. Quick save real quick. I don't know how long this game is. It may take me a few more episodes after this. I have 13 minutes, so I'm good! Once the slime girl had disappeared from the village, I succeeded at tearing off the slime that covered Maiho. However, as the slime shattered in millions of tiny pieces, Mayo was left without any form of cover, causing me to quickly cover my eyes. D don't you dare look at me! She coming near her feet, the girl rushed away, most likely in search of a change of clothes. With the slime girl gone, the villagers turned towards the fox spirits with confused gaze. The tension in the air was thick. No one knew what to expect. Finally, a familiar figure emerged from within the crowd. It's a pleasure to finally meet you again, Takar Hiroko. Even if the circumstances could have been better. What are you saying, Elder? This man is clearly in codes with the spirits. Wait a second. These girls just wanted to help. Onisama, my head hurts. It's okay, dear. I'm here. Just hold on to me tightly. I'll protect you, and so will Takaku. It's a trap! Silence! How dare you act with such hostility towards those who have just saved your lives? The crowd seemed rather startled by the firmness in the old man's voice. I can't really do firmness when I do the old accent. I'm sorry. It soon obeyed, some of them feeling rather ashamed all of a sudden. It is clear that you and your companions did not come here with ill intentions. Takahiro Kun, I must ask you to forgive the people from their nervousness and hostility. As you have most likely noticed, contact between the spirits and humans have been rather problematic. I understand their concern. Will you at least hear me out? Very well. If that is what you desire, then it will be the least we can do for those who have helped save the village upon this day. However, let us wait for the chief to return. I believe it will be important for her to hear what you have to say. I'll go find her, Oji-sama. Feeling grateful that the Elder had granted me the chance to carry out my plan, we waited for my own return. Thankfully, the elder brought us somewhere private, where Machiko could tend to Maiko without the villagers looking on in contempt. Ugh. How many times do I have to tell? To have to say it. I am sorry. I froze, okay? I panicked. Your sword is stronger than my Naginata. What was I even going to do? Going to accomplish by? That is unacceptable. I will reprimand. What are those creatures doing in here? Elder Sam, this is highly unorthodox. She's highly unorthodox. Shh, my coach. These are our guests, Suki no Dono. You shall treat them with the respect they deserve. Now take a seat and listen. Up, oh, like, like too fast. I understand, Elder Sama. First and foremost, let me express my gratitude for sa helping save this village. While Sukino Dono's brave attempt to stop the spirit allowed us to prevent further damage, I fear that her fate would have been much worse had the spirit been allowed to continue its rampage. Therefore, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for saving Sukino Dono and its village, Takahiro Kun, and you as well, Fox Spirits. No problem! Suchan told us to do it. Besides, Sakura is a stupid, smelly meanie pants. God damn it! <laughs> we humbly accept your gratitude, Old Sam. Rumi-chan, Tsukino no no. Thank you, Maiko-chan, Maiko-san, Chi-chan, uh, Machiko-san. You terribly help, really helped us out there. You've got more guts than 
me. That girl had me terrified. Have you not considered that they might be working together with that monster and that this is just some ruse to sneak into the village and steal what little resources we have left? The other sighed before his gaze sharpened, his tone surprisingly stern in comparison to how he had just been talking. His voice had his voice was a, has a sh was so sharp that both girls visibly flinched at the sound of it. Mayu, you seem to be understand, underestimating the power of these spirits. If those three had joined forces, they were there would possibly have been no village left to defend. The man sighed deeply, shaking his head before continuing. You should be grateful. We would not stand a chance if all the spirits were to conspire against us. Do I need to remind you that we can barely stand our ground against even one of them? Other Sama, you must understand, due to my situation, I simply cannot pretend to be friends with a spirit. Not after everything they have done to us. For now, I will at least remain silent on the matter. There's more at stake here than my personal feud. Know this, Fox Spirits, if I find either of you doing anything suspicious, I'll personally find out whether my sword goes through you in, in, as ineffectively as it did that monster. There shall be no talk of such things within this house! Now, Takeyoko, you mentioned you wanted to tell us something. Would it be related to your younger companion's comment? I find it curious to hear her mention the name of an old spirit such as Shuri. Actually, I'm that tell you something I learned directly from her. You mean, you met her in person? Nodded my head firmly. There's a reason behind the spirit's attitude towards humans. And doesn't it strike you as odd that there are only spirits in this particular area? It is true that there has been no spirit sightings outside of this region. But what does that have to do with us? It has something to do with this region. Apparently, you see, the spirits here aren't from this world. You mean to say... Sakakun, what are you saying? We are spirits, but surely we are still of this world. Oni-sama, what does that mean? Shuri told me that you probably wouldn't remember it, because of how young you were when it happened. Spirits have a world of their own. Some accident caused both worlds to merge temporarily. And why aren't there more spirits around? The whole thing was apparently dealt with before it got out of hand, but a few spirits became trapped here. Machiko-san, Maigo-chan, and four other spirits were unfortunately enough to get stuck here. I think Shiri willingly came here to watch over them. You remember being with Shiri for a while, don't you? It's... it's none of your business. Su-chan took care of us for a little while, but then she took us to the mansion and sort of just left us there. Now we can only visit her when she wants us to. What about these four other spirits? Even though she's a powerful spirit, Shuri has to follow certain rules. Because of that, she wasn't able to reach the other spirits. I I don't know what to say. I need a moment. And I use another room to compose myself. I'll show you. I can take you somewhere and uh, look after you. To make sure you don't do anything fiendish and all that. Come on, uh, Machiko-san. This way. And Machiko and Narumi left the room. I sighed and turned my focus back onto the conversation. Now about the... <clears throat> any theft. Oh, right. They did seem rather adamant about getting their hands on those for some reason. What was the purpose of that? Surely those girls have undergarments of their own. <laughs> it was a simple mistake. I need a maiden silk for my spell. How was I supposed to do... No, it was something other than a silky thing girls, like, girls wear. It's all a misunderstanding. None of them knew what that maiden silk is another term for a wedding sash. Innocent? Uh, huh. If they really thought that, they could have just used their own. Yeah, that's that's where you're wrong. Only Sam and I don't have any. You two. Um, I think we should move on to a different matter. Yeah, moving on. Shuri suggests that we find a way to help you guys out. If we can make you trust us, we figure that maybe we, maybe you would make us the sash. But why would you need such an item? But, city, city man, I already told you, I need it for a spell. Maiko-chan, this guy isn't a magician. He doesn't know what you're talking about. Basically, Maiko-chan has been researching a spell that would allow her to travel to another realm. Why would she desire such a power? 
Imagine being stuck far away from this village. You don't have any way to return to your loved ones. To make matters worse, you're in a place you don't know, with beings unlike anything you have seen before. Now let's say you had a power that would let you to go, would let you to go anywhere you want. And where would you go? Are you saying that? Yes. Even if they weren't aware of it, they must have consciously felt they were in different, were different from you. They only wanted to go home. Oh, home. Um, kinda, I guess. I just want to cast a spell to see what would happen. Suchan told me that if I ever felt like that, I should ask her first, and go with it. So I did, and since she didn't warn me about anything, I figured it was just like any other spell. I think it's normal, Michael-chan. Whether it's humans or spirits, everyone wants a place they can call their own. A place where they're accepted or for who they are. Isn't that right, Elder-sama? You accept me for who I am, don't you, Takani? I would certainly feel sad if everyone ended up rejecting me simply because of who I am. Surely not all spirits are good at heart. But perhaps we have been too quick to label and label them all evil. For a moment I saw Elder Sama's eyes wa wander sideways towards the room Narumi and Machiko had moved to. His gaze softened. Unfortunately, some of us have suffered quite a lot at the hands of the spirits. It will take time for people to come to terms with these feelings, Takaku Hirokun. Meanwhile, in a room off to the side of the main room, the guard lieutenant was watching over the older fox spirit, as she seemed to be in the grip of a, grips of a minor panic attack. No, this can't be right. This can't be true. I'm from this world. This world. I belong here, don't I? But maybe you should sit down, or like lay back or something. I I can go. I can get you a p pillow for you, lack or no. You cannot possibly understand. You cannot know what it is like to have everything you knew your whole life just pull it up from under you completely. Actually, I do. What do you mean? It was a while ago. Now, I was still just a kid, maybe five years old. There was an incident involving those other spirits. I don't know whether exactly what happened, but there was a big fire and my parents got trapped inside. They never made it out. So yeah, don't tell me I don't know what it's like to have your whole life torn apart. I... I'm sorry. I didn't know. I did not know. I could not have known. It almost makes it worse. You should know. You should know exactly what it did to me. What made me feel. Pardon? I do not know what you are talking about. A roomie, was it? Neriton. What? That's what you used to call me, Jichan. You used to call me Neriton. We used to play together every day. That's how you should know. I was with you when the incident happened, and you don't even remember. <clears throat> the girl collapsed onto one knee, clutching her head. I... I remember. Village glowing orange. A girl, younger, resembling you. I could... Why could I not remember this before? Ah! Machi... Ko... My head hurts. I remember. I remember seeing you cry. You screamed for your parents, then... You were calling out my name. As I ran. I had to. The villagers, they wanted to catch us. All spirits. They didn't care what... We had been... That we had been playing by the river all day. I couldn't explain it. I had to run. I... I can't leave it. Naruto. I am so, so sorry. The fox spirit reached out for the guard who pulled back insti instinctively. As she did, the pain seemed to disappear. Machiko looked more relieved than anything. I... No. No, not yet. I can't just forget about all that. It isn't that easy, but you did stand up to that slime creep. Uh... One you called Sakura. You risked your life for Mayo. And for the village. And that's worth giving you a chance for... I can't promise a miracle, though, because she barely even listens to me, and I'll have to talk her down. She really isn't that cold. Heartless captain everyone thinks she is. Thank you. Thank you for giving us a chance, Naruto. I promised Maiko and I would do our best. Perhaps you could tell me more about the incident? I'd rather not. It's a, it isn't a happy story. But if you do me a favor, I might be more willing to tell you more. I want to get strong. 
I couldn't do anything earlier today. I couldn't protect anyone. I don't have the brain sh I wanna finish this touching moment! <laughs> Fuck you, phone! I don't have the brain for me. Brains for magic or anything like that. But that Takahiro guy knows more some pretty flashy moves. If you get him to teach me some, I'll tell you what happened. Yelchi chan? I'm not too sure. That seems like a bit of an unfair deal on my part. Perhaps you could sweeten it for me. Just a little. Always the charm, huh? Alright. How about this? I'll tell you something about when we were younger. Like when we used to play together in the woods near the village. There's a little stream there that we used to fish in. Sometimes you could would sneak into the village with me and we'd play pranks on the shop owners. Knocking on doors and run away. Silly kid stuff. You'd even show me your magic. Your illusion abilities. But you said you don't didn't like doing it all that much because it made Michael cry. That's right. When Michael saw me transform for the first time, she got so scared. She ran away and nearly hurt herself. How could I possibly have forgotten that? Naruto-san, thank you for telling me that. I swear, I'll get Takakun to help you. Thank you. The girl stepped forward once more, this time wrapping her arms around the surprise guard who did not pull back. As the two women hugged each other tightly, the fox spirit began trembling. Hey, come now. We should probably get back to the others. They're probably wondering where we've gone. Forgive me for my absence. I must admit, I did not expect such rev revelations, Takakun. Have you explained the situation? Yeah, I think they get it now. It's probably going to take a while for the village to accept you. I do believe it will be in everyone's best interest to see the true nature of the fox spirits. While I can't promise the friendships will be forged today, it be let it be known that from now on the fox spirits are welcome in our village, and will receive the same respect as any guest should. Thank you, Father Sama. My sister and I are very grateful for your hospitality. However, the law of this village shall apply to you three as well. Takeru Kun, I believe it will be in your best interest to learn more about the village. Sukino Dono, Narubi chan, I leave him in your care. Try not to put him back in that cell, you two. You've got it, Oji sama I got him. Do our best. What about Maka chan and Chi chan? I skipped it again! I would like them to stay here for a time being. We need to discuss what to do should the other spirits choose to return. Other Sama, I would like to stay with you for that conversation. It is my duty to protect the village and those within it from any perceived danger. This includes you. I also believe it would serve me well to hear their, this firsthand. Of course. I expected nothing, Tsukino Dono. Narumi chan, how about you take Takahiro kun for a walk? I do not think that this is a date, young man. You're going to need more than that show earlier to earn the right to take my granddaughter. <laughs> God damn it! I skipped! Fuck! Uh, eh. Man laughed hardly as I blushed, smiling weakly. At least I wouldn't end up cuffed and brought to the jail cell this time. Maybe it would be even, tur even turn out to be a pleasant experience. Wait, no. Back. 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 Of course, I expect nothing, Sukino Don. Okay, I've already done that. And do not think that this is a day game. I already did that. Okay, okay, so I, nothing happened. Okay, nothing happened. I apparently I skipped, but it looked like I skipped something. Alright. So, if you liked the video, why not leave a like, add to your favorite, subscribe to and listen to Red Army today. And as always, leave your suggestions, amazing comments, comment section below. My name is Dexterior. And remember, everybody, my goatee salute you. One last thing. If you're fond of watching me play this, there are some other things I'd like to try out. For instance, there are some dating sims that some people have played and shown people, like Honey Pop and all that. But I think Honey Pop would, meet, would need me to get much better editing skill to blur out some stuff, I guess. But um, there is one that I can play that is pretty weird, but I've played it recently, and it's not that bad. Uh... Anyways, this is a longer episode. This will go up. This will be up on Tuesday, and then I'm off on Wednesday because I I'm doing Wednesdays and Sundays. I'm off. I'm doing every three days, I believe. Right, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So yeah, every three days I'm off. So no videos on Wednesdays or Sundays. So talk to you all later. Thank you all for watching.